Hey guys, what is up? John here from FlightMikeAlpha.com here in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska. And guess what? It's like 11 o'clock at night right now and sunny. It's amazing. I love summers here in Alaska. Anyways, enough talking. It's time for Two Minute Tuesday. Let's go intro. All right, today we are going to talk about something fairly straightforward, but important to know if you are getting ready for one of your written exams, especially commercial or CFI, this is on the written exams, aspect ratios, what are they, right? So aspect ratio of a wing, why does that matter to us as pilots? Just by looking at an airplane, you should be able to initially judge some characteristics about it just by seeing it on the ground. So what can we tell about our Piper Cub just sitting here? Well, first let's talk about aspect ratios and then we can make a guess here. So here is a plan view of the Piper Cub. We'll store that aside for later. Now, now, we have high aspect ratio wings, gliders. We have low aspect ratio wings. Oh, like, you know, the original Piper Arrow that was very short and stubby and very high wing loading. So when we have a short, stubby, high wing loading, meaning there's a lot of weight for the size wing there is, well, we can expect that when we chop power on the airplane, it's going to drop like a brick. It may go faster through the air. There may be less drag because there's not so much wing on this thing to have to pierce through the air but it's not going to work very well at low speed. It's going to be a higher speed wing and it's going to need a lot of airflow to produce lift. So chopping the power, trying to glide with it, not gonna work so well with those original Piper Arrows. And if you guys have ever flown those and done that power off 180 with the gear down on those things, you know it's literally the procedure, throw the brick out the window and then follow the brick to the ground. That's about how that airplane flies. Now let's look at something like a glider here, long thin wings, not gonna be the fastest airplane out there. Probably not gonna be doing 200 miles an hour with this thing but it's a glider, right? So literally by definition, it glides really well, okay? It's not going to fall rapidly without an engine. In fact, it doesn't even have an engine, it's a glider. So with that high aspect ratio wing, that is when you're going to be able to fly it at a higher angle of attack, all right? So these wings work much better at higher angles of attack and a lot less drag. They're going to be able to come down nice and slow. It's a very efficient, slow speed wing and that's why they use that shape, that style on gliders. Now. Let's talk about this Piper Cub once more. Where does it fall in between the mix? Well, for its size and for its weight, I'm gonna go ahead and classify this as a slightly higher aspect ratio wing, meaning the wing's a little bit longer, a little bit wider than it is, well, kind of wide the other way, right? From leading edge to trailing edge. There's not a whole lot there leading edge to trailing edge, but it's a pretty good width wingspan and that makes these Piper Cubs glide really, really well. It's a nice, lightly wing-loaded airplane, so it takes off quickly. There's a lot of wing surface area for how much it weighs. It makes them great short field performers, so they can take off quickly, they can land nice and slowly. Now, there's a lot of excess wing there because it is lightly wing-loaded, so there's almost more wing than it needs, and that's why they don't go so fast. Plus, it's just the overall design of the wing and the airplane in general. But they don't cruise super fast. If we wanted to cruise faster, we could clip the wings on it, and then we would have a clipped wing Piper Cub. And those clipped wing Piper Cubs have a higher cruise speed, but as you might have guessed, a slightly longer landing roll, a slightly longer takeoff roll because they have higher stall speeds and they don't glide quite as well as their high aspect ratio cousins. So that's it guys, right? Glider, high aspect ratio wing, our original Piper space shuttle, stuff like that, low aspect ratio wing. They fly like a brick. That's all you really need to know for your commercial pilot written, your CFI written. And by the way, if you guys are working on your CFI, the CFI courses are being added to flightmikealpha.com for summer 2019. Check out all the courses on there. Send them to your students, send them to your friends, private pilot, instrument pilot, commercial pilot, ground school, share our YouTube channel with others. Share that vlog channel where we're flying all over Alaska and around the lower 48, super fun. There's lots of other helpful courses on flatmikealpha.com like airspace crosswind landings, our seaplane training course we just added for summer 2019. That was filmed all flying around Denali National Park up in Talkeetna, Alaska, super beautiful. Along with tailwheel training and so many other courses on there. If you guys have any questions on this stuff at all, do what you always do. Click on ask a question at the top of the page at flatmikealpha.com. Leave your questions or comments in the comments below. Be sure to share this video in our channel with others. And as always guys, if you cannot fly every day, then fly at mikealpha.com. We'll see you guys in the next one.